Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you by you. I am your host, Ronnie McBride, and today we're going to talk about turning our images into 3D. And not 3D in the sense that you may be thinking of like uh, the movie Frozen, but 3D from the sense of anaglyphic technology. Now, anaglyphic technology was a technology that was created um, basically by taking, filtering two different colors of the uh, color spectrum, okay, um, which is blue and red okay so some of you may be familiar with it you may have a pair of blue and red glasses back from the 70s when it became popular like um when movies uh came out like uh, the swamp thing uh came out i think it was very popular technology that was used then of course now that technology has progressed and we have all these different types of systems like the chroma death system passive system the prolific method there's a lot of different ways of doing 3d we have 3d tvs but we're going to focus on just the blue and red anaglyphic stereoscopic method okay so today what i have here is i have a file i have a little picture here and some of you may be familiar this is john ham from the tv show mad men and he, uh, he plays don draper and i thought this would be a great image to use uh, to actually demonstrate how you can create your own 3d image now you don't have to have this image you could do a search and find this image yourself um, this image I found was actually under the Creative Commons, so that's what I'm using in this demonstration. But you could use your own personal images and pull off the same technique, and I'm going to show you how today. Okay, so a little file set up here, and here's my original image. And when I create a file, usually what I do is I like to take the original image and label it ori uh, original and lock that image by just hitting Command L on the keyboard. If I unlock it, I will hit command shift L okay but I'm gonna hit command L and lock it and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit command J twice and make two copies of that okay and those two copies I'm going to actually unlock those so command shift L and command shift L on those two okay so now I have two now I'm gonna label one cyan and then I'm gonna label the other one red oops red okay okay so now what I need to do is I need to make a red version and a cyan version of this image and the way you can do that in affinity designer is to uh, select your red layer and go down to the adjustments tab and grab a curve okay and I'm gonna switch my color mode to green and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull out all the green in this image. Okay, so basically this image, uh, this represents all the colors in the image. Right now I'm on the green channel, so all the green that's in this image I just pulled out. So from the darks all the way to the lights, I pulled that entirely out of the image. Then I'm going to go down here to the blue channel, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull out all the color there, which gives me the red. Okay, that's the red that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to hide that for a moment. And I'm going to go over here to the cyan. Now for the cyan, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab curves. And I'm going to go to now the red channel. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the red in this image. Which leaves me with this <clears throat> blue-green kind of color, which would be our cyan layer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that. Okay, so I'm going to turn my red channel back on. Okay, and I'm going to switch the layer mode of that red channel by selecting the, channel, uh, the layer and then going up here and changing it to screen. Okay, so now it looks exactly how we started, right? So this blending mode basically takes those two layers and blends them together using the screen function. Now, if I hold down shift and I hit right twice, you will see that now I am separating those channels. Okay, so um, I'm going with the uh, red to the right because I'm going to filter the colors on my um, uh, right eye to only see the red and vice versa. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of matching it up to how it is. Um, how it's going to be when I have the glasses on okay so now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make another copy of my original 
right? So I'm going to go Command J, like so. Okay, and I made a selection also of this image, and I made a selection of just um, of the character, the main character here, and I made a selection of him sitting on the chair because what I want to do is I want to separate this effect from the rest of the image. I don't want to affect all of the image, although it's perfectly fine. You could use this as is, and you will get the 3D effect, but it's not exactly what we want because we actually kind of want to separate him from the background itself and make him look like 3D and make the background look like it's still on its own two-dimensional plane, okay? So I made a selection and I saved that selection by making just a copy of it and putting it up here. Um, selections is a little bit detailed and that would actually be a little bit more to go into and make this video a little bit longer than it needs to be but if you want to learn more about selections you can actually head on over to my udemy class where i actually explain how to make selections in that class um, amongst a lot of other things so if you want to learn about selections definitely look down in the description and there'll be a link there okay so to continue on i've separated my colors and i've moved the red to the right, okay, by holding down shift and hitting the right arrow key twice. So that makes it about 20 pixels because um, every time you hit the arrow key while holding shift, it moves it 10 pixels, okay? Now I'm gonna go over to the cyan. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna hit to the right twice, okay? So, okay, let me do that again. There we go, to the right twice. Okay, so now you see there's a separation of color. <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to mask out the effect so it only affects John, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, here's my original uh, save selection. I'm going to make two copies. I'm going to do Command-J, Command-J, okay? And I'm going to rename this one Cyan, uh, Cyan Selection. Okay, and that's lowercase y. And then here, I'm going to name this one red selection, like so. Okay, now I move the red two pixels to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to select my mask that I'm creating here, and I'm going to move that, hold down shift, I'm going to move that two pixels to the right, and I'm going to hit the cyan, I'm going to move that two pixels, excuse me, when I say two pixels, um, actually I'm holding down shift and I'm hitting the arrow key twice, and I'm moving 20 pixels at a time to the left and the right, okay? So with the red one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it, and you see how it highlights right here to the right of my adjustment? I'm going to drag it and drop it right there. Okay, and automatically it drops it and it makes it a mask of this layer. So it's actually clipping that layer, but the mask is turned off right now. Okay, and it does that by default. The second one, I'm going to take this cyan, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drop that right here. Okay, so now it's masking this image. Now, to see that, um, all you have to do is hold down the shift key and actually click on these two masks. Okay, so now you see the effect is just on. Our main character here okay so now what happens uh, what's going to happen is when you have your glasses on you will see that the character is actually sitting from the background and to actually make that effect even more apparent we're going to also take our copy of our original that I have here that's locked I'm going to unlock it by holding um, command shift and L okay to unlock that layer and you can also lock and unlock layers by just clicking up here and uh, I'm going to go down to my effects. I'm going to add a little bit of a blur to it because, you know, things that are a little bit further away, they tend to not be as focused. OK, so if you take a picture and you're focused on somebody and they're uh, a little bit further away from something in the background, that's not always as clear as you think it is. OK, so that's a little bit of a visual photography trick um, that's going to help us out here. Okay, so now uh, my picture is pretty much ready. So if you slap on your glasses right now, you will see 
John Herman now sits away from the background in 3D in all its glory. So this is really cool, guys, because now you can actually go through your pictures, apply the same effect, and you can make a, a gallery of your of your uh, you know family experiences or you know trips or whatever, and make your own little 3D uh, gallery of imagery, and um, you can apply it to any picture that you have. Okay, next week we're going to talk about. Um, scrapbooking and some scrapbooking techniques. I think it'll be really interesting uh, for you guys as well too. Some of you um, are wondering how to make selections, pull things out, and then um, you know put them together to make your own little memory book or kind of a journal using scrapbooking techniques. Okay, so definitely tune in for that. I think even if you're not a scrapbooker, I think you're going to find some really interesting things too. Um, we also may cover some styles as well within that. So definitely stay tuned. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you, by you. And if you have any questions, you know, drop me a tweet at Mixed Media Salad. Thanks again. And we'll see you next week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to receive 50% off my training, make sure you sign up at mixedmediasalad.com.